Welcome back. You're watching Business Morning on Channels Television. Let's talk to Rotimi Fakai John now as uh, we focus on how the capital markets community greets the news that the federal government plans to apply for the $1 billion euro bond to be listed, to be eligible to be listed and traded on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. A good morning to you, Rotimi. Good morning, Harriet. It's great to have you join me on the program. So, how is the capital market, or how did the capital market greet this piece of news? Well, I think to every one of us, is a, is a renewal of confidence in the Nigerian economy. Because with the success of the $1 billion uh, bond, it goes to say that uh, there is still so much confidence that investors repose in our market and in the economy. So it's a very good development that this bond, $1 billion bond is a success. And that uh, is actually the mindset of most operators around here. And then, Rotimi, this is the first time uh, such a bond will be listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. How well or how, how much uh, investors trading are, we going to, are you expecting to see? Uh, well, we expect that to be better than what it had been before because uh, the response to bonds in the secondary market, in the Nigerian, in the Nigerian stock exchange, at the Nigerian stock exchange, has really not been worthwhile. But I believe that this definitely is going to be a turnaround, and investors, we are going to go all out to manage to market our uh, <laughs> clients and also to encourage them to participate in this. And I believe it's definitely going to be better than what we have seen before. So it's expected to further deepen uh, that segment of the markets with regards to Nigerian Stock Exchange. But also review for us how the trading week has been. I'm sure it has kind of uh, met uh, capital markets expectations, especially as very poor numbers have continued to come in from most of the companies listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Uh, well, incidentally, we are still very much awaiting the results. We've only gotten the one from uh, 40 oil PLC. The other ones are just mere notifications of when they will send in the results. But what uh, it from the letters that from notifications sent to the exchange, it implies that um, before the end of the month, we're going to have a lot of results coming. So investors and operators are prepared for this, and this has been reflected in the prices. And of course, notice that uh, we've had mostly mixed trading uh, this week, just maybe one day of gain. Uh, well, this, this, today I started with a, with a gain. We only <laughs> hope it's going to end that way because presently we are having 0.3% positive and uh, we only expect that uh, the market may be able to continue in this state and finish at least another second day uh, of positive uh, gain. But then, Rotimi, of course, you notice that investors have continued to book profit very heavily of some of the market heavies, including those listed uh, on the consumer goods index and the industrial goods index, and not to mention the banking goods, uh, banking index as well. Uh, well, I think uh, we've seen that uh, very much in consumer goods, industrial goods, particularly Lafarge Wapco and uh, Dangote Cement. But I believe it, things are definitely going to get better as the results come in. All right, Rotimi, thank you so much for your thoughts uh, this morning. Of course, uh, chipping in there how the early numbers are looking like from the Nigerian Stock Exchange this beautiful uh, Friday. And that's where we anchor today's business morning. Many thanks for staying with us. I'm Harriet Admini. Have a profitable day and enjoy your weekend.